Yeah. Welcome to the weekly news update on Crypto TV Plus, October 19th, 2021. I am Nikkei Oshini, bringing you the weekly dose of blockchain news. Coming up, Binance US gets a new CEO, eyes IPO. McDonald's goes into NFTs in China. Squid Game card NFTs trading on OpenSea. Binance launches $1 billion blockchain growth fund. Visa to help artists get into NFTs. Ghana's upcoming CBDC to be used in offline transactions. Now let's get you updated on the Crypto Weekly News. First up, Binance US announces the appointment of Brian Schroeder as its new chief executive officer. According to the company, the appointment was made in September and Brian has already set the wheel rolling by helping to lead the company's strategy and execution, fundraising, business and corporate development. Also, Mr. Siegel will function as the CFO of Binance US, pending when a permanent CFO has been appointed. While the company shops for a new and permanent CFO, Brian will be strategically positioning the company for its IPO. Meanwhile, fast food retail giant McDonald's in China has entered into the world of cryptocurrency as it launches its NFT collections. McDonald's China, in celebration of its 31 years anniversary since its first setup shop in the mainland, has released a collection of 188 digital collectives, which will be distributed to employers and consumers to mark the anniversary. Popular Korean TV series Squid Game, that got the internet buzzing, was released in September 2021. Due to its popularity and being known for the cards that appeared more than once on the TV series, a collection of 2,000 Squid Game cards were listed on the open sea. Released by an unknown creator, the NFT cards became really popular in the NFT marketplace. Some of these collections are being sold for more than one Ether. Do these collections have a close relationship with the producers of the TV series on Netflix itself? That information remains unknown. Leading cryptocurrency exchange Binance has launched a billion dollars growth fund to support blockchain development and growth in the Binance smart chain and the entire blockchain industry. Binance hopes the blockchain growth fund program will benefit all the participants in the crypto market, either through the creation of new talent or by bringing new innovations. Global payment and financial giant Visa will be launching an NFT program to support and onboard artists into the crypto industry. In doing this, Visa revealed it will be working together in partnership with Michael Johnson, a former baseball player who has turned into the NFT space. Through the program, Visa and Michael Johnson will support artists who want to use NFTs to sell their art. And finally, Ghana is currently exploring ways to make its central bank digital currency, or CBDC, usable in offline transactions. This is to ensure residents who have no access to electricity and the internet are well included in the new financial framework being developed. The head of fintech and innovation at the Bank of Ghana, Kwame Opong, made a revelation yesterday, Monday the 18th, October 2021, in a report by Bloomberg. He stated that the ECD would support offline transactions during the Ghana Economic Forum held yesterday, Monday. And that's it for the weekly news update here on Crypto TV Plus. For more market updates and all the happenings captured in the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency, visit our website, CryptoTVPlus.com. Also follow us on our social media platforms, Facebook and Twitter at Crypto TV Plus to get daily info on our programs. Thank you for watching. I'm Mikael Shini. Until next time. <laughs>